Panama City commissioners say they want to protect consumers from being taken in on a bad used car deal. And they're considering an ordinance that would prohibit pop-up car lots from setting up shop. As News 13's Jay Coulter tells us, they say that traveling businesses are becoming a problem. Getting scammed is never fun. Panama City has had problems in the past with traveling car lots coming to town and selling unsuspecting locals substandard vehicles. By the time the buyer realizes they've been ripped off, the seller is gone. If a company rolls into town like a circus or a fair, then that's what you can expect. Panama City commissioners are proposing a new ordinance to prevent this. Car sales are one of the biggest purchases you'll make in your household budget. And so if you end up purchasing a car that ultimately there's no one to hold accountable to whether or not it actually turned out to be the thing that you wanted, that's been, that's been the driving factor in this. When someone comes in from out of town, you don't know who they are, the car's not checked out. Um, and then you're left with a repair bill at the end, there's really not a whole lot of recourse. The ordinance would prohibit the sale of vehicles at non-permanent locations and city limits. Rob Kimball with Tommy Auto says these operations are almost always a scam and that shopping locally increases consumer confidence. These companies, they, they fly in and make a bunch of promises and uh, they don't intend on keeping those promises. At least with a local business that's established, a brick and mortar like Tommy, I mean, we're going to tell you what's the deal up front. We're going to be transparent. And uh, you, you, you know, you can hang your hat on what we say. The exception to the ordinance would be existing brick and mortar businesses that want to host a sales event at a remote location. It also does not affect a private seller who wants to sell their own vehicle to another party. In Panama City, Jake Holter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. The commissioners had their first reading of the proposed ordinance this week. They'll hold a public hearing and take a final vote on the ordinance at their next meeting coming up on March the 28th.